everyone, it's Lisa. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be making a card using some products from the Stamps of Life. It is the Party Sons and the Party One die set. And this die set includes several different pieces. So the, the dies that are on the card, the rainbow and the cloud, those are for the Party one die set and then the suns you have a medium sized sun and a smaller sun these are the party suns die set so they come with two pieces this is the medium one and there's also a larger sun it's from the sun folded and it's very similar to what these suns look like only in a much larger size and I previously did a video on making a card using the sun folded and I will put a link in the description box below so I'm just going to take that out here so that you can actually see what that fold it looks like but you can see that the design is very similar so you have the large one which is the actual fold it that makes the shaped card and then you have a medium sized one and then you have the small one and you have to forgive my hands because I initially was talking as I was recording this video um, but then I decided to go ahead and do a voiceover so the hands aren't kind of going in the same you know sequence as as my as what I'm saying in the video so the party one die set has a small rainbow a large rainbow and it has a cloud and these are smaller versions of the rainbow fold it and the cloud fold it so I'm just going to take the small one here off of the paper and you can see it has several layering dies so if you wanted to do like dots for your rainbow or dashes or solid stripes there's different layers here and if you um, wanted to do the medium sized one or even the cloud the cloud is very similar to the cloud fold it there's also some stars that are included and with the cloud you can choose to use the dots or not use the dots so here I'm just taking out the rainbow fold it and you can see that this one actually makes a shaped card and it's much larger but you can also see the difference in size so you have your large one your medium and your small depending on what your needs are for the size of card that you're making and I previously did a video on the rainbow folded I'll also link that below and then here is the cloud and I just want to show you what the actual cloud fold it looks like this makes a shaped cloud card and you can do the dots on that as well and then if you just wanted to use use the smaller version for a smaller card you have that option in the party one die set so for my card today I'm starting out with a piece of Bristol smooth cardstock and I'm using a it's a make my own cloud stencil just I cut a cloud die out of some cardstock and I'm using it as a stencil and I'm just inking up my Bristol smooth cardstock with some sky ink and that is a light blue ink and that is a stamps of life ink and I'm just using my um, blender tool to do that so after I ink up one line I just turn that stencil over just so that I can get a different shape of the clouds and then I ink up the line below it and I don't come all the way up to cover the entire white part I just cover a little bit um, above the cardstock and then once I ink up that line I'll flip it over again to get a different cloud shape and I will ink up the next line so here I'm on the third line or I just moved it down three times and I'll continue to do that all the way through the rest of that um, card layer so there's the end result on the table you can see that the entire card layer is filled with clouds and now I die cut the Sun I did the shadow layer as well as the layering piece and the top layering piece I actually put double sided adhesive tape on the back of the cardstock before running it through the die cut machine because those lines are so intricate and there's no way I was going to get glue on the back of that so using double sided tape on your cardstock before running it through the die cut machine is key so there's my Sun and then I have the rainbow I did the shadow layer out of white and here I'm gonna do a layering piece out of the red so you can see what that looks like so you just drop those curves to the rainbow into that die that's there on the table so I have my red one and that red one it actually puts little lines in that cardstock 
Now I have my second curve to my rainbow. That one has dots and I'm going to die cut that out of some of the marigold paper. And then I'm going to use the next curve in my rainbow and drop it in the die and die cut that out of the kiwi cardstock. And then the very last one, the centerpiece is out of the sunshine cardstock and that will go right in the center. And then all you have to do now is just add glue to the back and add those to your shadow layer. And what's nice about this is you can make this rainbow any colors that you want. If you wanted a pastel rainbow, you can do pastel colors. If you wanted darker colors, whatever colors you wanted to use for your rainbow, you can use. For the cloud, I took these two dies and some white cardstock with double-sided adhesive on the back, and I ran that through my die cut machine. And then the shadow layer, I die cut out of the sky cardstock, and I'm just layering the white dot part of the cloud onto the blue shadow layer. And I did die cut two of those, and I'm now inking them up with some of the sky ink just to add a little bit of blue to the edges of the cloud. And then I'm going to take this stamp that says hi, and that's from the Rainbows to Stamp stamp set. I'm just going to stamp it there on the background. And I'm going to go ahead and add my sun to the top right hand corner. I'm going to add my rainbow and I'm tucking that inside or underneath those clouds. So I'm going to add two clouds to the bottom. They are going to extend beyond the edge of that cardstock layer. And I'm just going to trim off the excess. So just trimming off the excess for the sun. I'm going to do the same thing for both of those clouds, but I'm actually going to save those pieces because I'm going to add them back to my card. So I thought it would be cute to add some more clouds there at the bottom. So I'm just adding those pieces back and just putting the flat edge along the flat edge of that card layer and just gluing those down. And I think that looks really nice just layering up those four clouds on that card. So now I'm going to take a piece of sky cardstock that is going to be added to a white A2 size card base. That cardstock is going to completely cover that card base. So it is four and a quarter by five and a half. So there will be no card base showing beyond the edges of that um, blue cardstock. And then I'm going to add that layer directly on top. And then just to finish this card off, I'm going to add some clear enamel dots to the front of the card and that's going to complete this card. I just love how this turned out. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this card and if you liked this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more card making tutorials. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.